Teddy. Hi, Ted. How are you? Ted. Good boy. Thanks for joining me, Ted. This is Ted. Oi. Uh, hey, everyone. I hope you're having a good Wednesday. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm doing a check-in for the 100 Days of Art. It's day 24. I hope some of you are still sticking with it. I've missed a couple days, but I've been pretty good. I'm just gonna do a check-in and walk around and show you what I'm working on and some of my processes and inspirations and maybe it'll help you keep doing it too. I really enjoy seeing what other people are making and the nice comments. Okay, so I'm working on this piece here. It's a tall one, I'm making it for Rebecca. Her dad raised pigeons, so I used carbon paper. I got these references and carbon paper onto there. And then I'm using this Fiskars, or it's like masking. Where's the edge of this? You see this? This peels off like this. And watch this, it's pretty cool. I actually don't want to take it up. So it's, it's uh, For masking. All right, pretty neat. So that was thanks, Janine, for showing me this stuff. I'm gonna use this all the time. Teddy, sorry, sorry, Teddy wants down. Sorry, Ted. Okay. Anyways, you kind of get what this material does, hey? So, and then up here, I put the I put the masking film on already, and I'm just gonna cut out this shape. Paint it gold, and there you go. That's one project coming along. This project, so that's fall, winter, spring. I'm just starting to see what colors need to connect to connect these two, and I have some references for hairstyles that I like. I'm sketching. This is in the spring. I'm gonna have some beehives in the back. Tulips. So here's some other hair references. That's helpful. It shouldn't be holding a skull. What else? Okay, so this one's coming along nice too. These are this shape. I was figuring out how to do this shape with math. And then these orange lines are kind of drawing it in, right? You see? And then I'll have her hair working with those lines and I'll kind of turn it into like one piece, right? What else? Uh, I'm just doing some research on whatever these are called again. And I'm kind of putting these circles up the middle of this bird creature. This piece was done based on a quote, this quote. Your imagination can be your worst nightmare or your greatest superpower. So that was the idea, like your brain can be working on like terror and anxiety or like creativity and projects and creating. So these are, some, I'm gonna resin these. What else? Anything else? Oh, I just, I'm, I'm just starting to work on some collage. I just got old beat up frames from the thrift store. And here's some backgrounds, right? <clears throat> This is a collage, some magazines and paint. Again, this is from the thrift store. This is some watercolor paper background. And now to just start collecting stuff and looking for references. Um, this is an old book. Just, I find this, I have lots of good worksheets for like building up faces, the different layers and eyes and proportions. I found these really helpful to have kept. Okay, um, then the woodworking is also creative, right? So every day make some art for your own mental health. Woodworking can, is art, yes. I found these nice pieces of wood and I'm just filling up these cracks with resin but they keep leaking and leaking and leaking, so. Okay, got pretty deep but I wanna fill this all the way to the top and then sand them and then resin them. See what this piece is 
couple, um, one more coat probably. But now I have this crack forming. So that's the problem. If your wood comes in too soon and it's still wet and then it dries too fast, you start getting cracks, right? But I'm gonna fill in all these cracks with uh, resin, with some epoxy, so. Anything else? My daughter's been making collage. I think that's it. Oh, and then just finding references, like to do this lady's face. I'm just gonna kind of take that face as an inspiration for up there. Anyways, I hope you're making art. I'm doing this because it makes me feel at my best and it makes me happy and it makes me a better person. So make art every day, give it a shot. Bye. Oops.